Président, le gouvernement va faire peur aux gens avec la question du déficit. Mais il y a un an, le <coughs> ministre s'est trompé de 13 milliards dans sa prédiction sur le déficit et il a changé d'avis trois fois dans six mois. Ce n'est pas sérieux. Avant de couper dans les programmes et les services, pourquoi le ministre des Finances ne commence pas par mettre de l'ordre dans ses livres et donner les, les vrais chiffres à la population Pourquoi il ne le fait pas Merci, Monsieur le Président. Et nous sommes en, en bon train de balancer nos budgets et le déficit. Uh, I'd like to quote, if you wouldn't mind, um, the IMF, who said very clearly, quote, Canada's overall fiscal outlook stands out up as among the best in the G20, end quote. That is proof that our economic action plan did its job. It's proof that our next phase of our economic action plan has some wherewithal to deal with the problems that we see here in Canada. And I would hope that the opposition members would side with us and vote for our budget. The Honourable Member for Parkdale, High Park. Well, Mr. Speaker, tell that to the millions who are unemployed or underemployed. It's simply not good enough. The government's plan for billions in corporate tax cuts means only one thing, cuts to programs and services that Canadians rely on. Cuts to seniors living in poverty, cuts for struggling families, or is it really cuts to health care? Mr. Speaker, these cuts are not worth the cost. Will the minister cancel his reckless across-the-board corporate tax giveaways and invest in the things Canadians count on, like health care, infrastructure, and the small businesses that create jobs? Will he do that? Yeah. In March, we presented the next phase of Canada's economic action plan. It was a positive plan to keep taxes low. That's what Canadians were asking for. This plan is now going to support the creation of jobs. It's going to support Canadians in every effort that they want to push forward. And almost every organization has supported the fact that we want to lower those corporate tax, uh, taxes so that corporations corporations can actually produce those jobs. If those taxes go up as proposed by the NDP, consumers will pay and workers will pay. We will not do that to Canadian public.